Hi everyone, welcome back to day two of my wine sampling of this real fun Halloween wine sample that I got from sipandsaber.com. It's got six mini bottles, three reds, three whites, just some fun things to try. We've got Halloween fun, spooky names. Just thought it would be really fun to try. And uh, yeah, so I wore this to work today. Of course, these glasses kind of go with this uh, kind of pink lady jacket and the poodle skirt that I have on. But, you know, they're as cute as they are. There's, uh, yeah, there's no glass in them, so I can't really use them for cheaters. So I'm going to put my cheaters on so I can kind of see what's going on here. Alrighty, hi, I'm back. So, yeah, so before I left work today, I ordered some dominoes to have for my palate cleansers or little snacks. So I got those chicken bites that they have. So I've got two different ones here. So I've got this uh, one that's got barbecue sauce with bacon and this other one smells awesome. It's got jalapenos in it, pineapple, and then a habanero sauce with mango. So I got an extra hala habanero dipping sauce. And in case I need to cool it down, I got some blue cheese. Yeah. So anyway, I wore my poodle skirt today, and I've probably had this. Oh gosh, it's probably 40 years. And every now and then I pull it out. So I got this, and I love wearing this because then I get to wear, I get to go steady. Yeah. So I got Rick's uh, high school ring, my high school ring, and then um, for one of his Harleys, we had this, a ring made with that, um, with that bike and the serial number and stuff like that in it. So I like to wear this. Wear this. It just it's so fun to go steady, and I love wearing my saddle shoes. I'll try to put a picture before or after or at the end. But anyway, we're going to be doing two more wines to light tonight, like we did yesterday. Oh, I wanted to show you the, uh, I didn't get to show you the top I was wearing yesterday. I just thought it was kind of appropriate for wine tasting, so it was Happy Halloween. And I probably got this either Amazon or Walmart last year. Alrighty, so we did two wines last night. We did a red and a white. Going to do the same thing today just to try to keep moving it along so I can kind of piece it all together and not be too long. We're going to do the white wine first, and the second we'll do the dark red. So this one is called Mummy Merlot. Love the label on this too. And then the white wine that we're doing tonight is a Chardonnay, and it's called Creepy Coffin Chardonnay. Alrighty, so first we're gonna I kind of pre-open this one so I could wouldn't have to struggle so much on camera with it. Got my wine glass. Glub glub glub. I'm gonna whoops poured a little too much. Got some in here. I'm gonna hold this up to show the color of this. It looks a little bit more golden than the wine I had last night, but it's still like a nice clear, kind of like a golden peachy kind of color. Ready? I'm going to swirl it around here so we can kind of get the aromas to kind of, whoops, go around. I thought I had a nice wide base here so I wouldn't make a mess, but I almost did. I almost made a mess. So anyway, I hope you guys are having fun and if your kids are going out this year, I hope they have a blast. And dressing up is half the fun whether you get candy or not. It's just, it's just fun to dress up. Isn't it? Alrighty. So I can still feel it back here. So it's got this kind of citrusy, kind of that acid. I think it smells, I think I smell pineapple. Or it could be that, but I'm thinking like papaya mango. It smells tropical. I know it's not going to be sweet because it's a Chardonnay. Also smell kind of, maybe not cinnamon, maybe nutmeg, but some kind of spice in here. And uh, maybe a hint of vanilla and kind of like the oak barrels. I think anyway. Alrighty. So anyway, cheers everyone. Let's see if it passes the taste test. Of course, I did put it in the refrigerator overnight, so it's going to be colder than it was last night. Yeah, when you swallow it, it's got a creamy kind of texture to it. Um, it's it's dry. I can feel it drying against my palate on top, but I can feel back here, it's like the taste buds are just salivating. And it's like that acid, the citric acid in here that's just kind of making you, making you salivate and just, uh, just, it's juicy. It's dry, but it's 
got a nice aftertaste. It's buttery. Um, you can really, I could really taste the vanilla. It's buttery, like a creamy type texture. I don't think I'm describing it right. But it's definitely pineapple in here, papaya, some mango in this one. And I know that they use different flavors, different companies um, add their own fruits. And I think it makes it, Chardonnay depends on whether um, it's from a warm climate or a cold climate, what they add in here. So I'm really, I know this is from California. I always think California is warm, but it could be up in the mountains maybe where it's not so warm. But anyway, it is good. It's um. Like I said, it's dry. I can feel it dry up against the top of my palate, but that acid is just making the taste buds go crazy. Yeah. Yeah, so it, it is good. I love this one. This is our Creepy Coffin Chardonnay. So I'm going to turn it off, have a bite to eat, and I'll be right back with the second wine. I'm not going to lie to you. My mouth is on fire. I could not get that blue cheese dressing opened up fast enough. I can breathe fire right now, but I had quite a few sips of my Chardonnay here. It really helped. I still might have to call the fire department, put the fire in my mouth out, but it's so, so good. I cannot wait to have another bite. Okay, so now we are moving on to the Mummy Merlot. And you know, I really don't think I've had a Merlot. Well, I might have been the, the ones that I got last year in, in my advent calendar, but I really don't remember it too much because I just, uh, you know, I just wasn't into tasting anything other than a Moscato. Yeah, I know. Why did I get a wine calendar? I don't know, but I didn't pre-open this one. You can probably tell I'm struggling here. Alrighty, here we go. The Mummy Merlot. I don't know, it might be me, but when I was pouring it out, I kind of got like a hint of like, like a brownish red instead of purpley, but, but it is still very dark. I'm not really sure, but I mean, when I hold it up to the light, it kind of looks purpley red, but coming out, I had like traces of, of like, I thought it was like chocolate almost. Alrighty. So this is the Merlot. Um, it's very thick. I think the Chardonnay, I didn't mention, but I think it said it was 14.5% alcohol. Let me see what this one is. It comes up here for us. And this one's 14.5 as well. Alrighty, so. Alrighty. Reddish purple brown. That's what I'm going with for the color here. So the Chardonnay was kind of like a medium to full body, I think. It was kind of heavy, but not like heavy, heavy. It was like a light tasting wine, just a lot of the flavors, like a tropical flavor. So, I mean, yeah, fruit salad would go good with that, or even like pineapple chicken without the jal jalapenos. Alrighty, so let's swirl this around. I do. I smell chocolate. This may, maybe it's in my head, like a cocoa or something. Um, but I smell fruit still. I think I think the one I had last night. I smelled something like cherries or some kind of berries. I smell that in here too. Maybe, maybe plum. I think I smell clove. Maybe cedar, not oak. It's not like a cedar closet, but it's different. Okay. Let's give it a whirl, shall we? Cheers again, everyone. And, and just in case I didn't say it, thanks again for joining me because it's not healthy to drink alone. That's why I have you guys. Well, I have you guys for other things too because I like you. But yeah, I love you guys. Okay. Cheers, everyone. I'm going to have a sip. See if I can figure this out. Yeah, I definitely smell cocoa. I don't know if it's cocoa's in Merlot or not, but <clears throat> it's maybe it's just in my head. You can feel it going down. It's not as dry. It's dry, but I can still feel um, up on top. It's like a smooth, kind of like a velvety texture. 
if that's a way to describe it. I don't know. I almost feel like I got like a pencil. Maybe graphite. I don't know what that's about. But it's still good. I think I just, just have a, a real slight taste of like cherries and plums. It's smooth going down. I can feel it up against my palette. Does that finish? Um, that maybe that's the tannins, but it's not really dry. It's not like really drying my mouth out. So maybe it's like softer tannins or maybe not as much. I don't have any like acid back here. Nothing salivating or anything like that. So it is dry, but not so dry that it takes the life right out of your mouth. But yeah, it's really not bad. I'm going to have one more sip and then try to figure out what I'm tasting. You guys have had this. Let me know how close I am to coming to some of the descriptions here. I don't know. <clears throat> of course, I suppose it, it could all be different. You could have a Merlot and it tastes sweet and fruity. And maybe you taste oranges or blackberries. Maybe you taste clove and cinnamon. I don't know. I suppose everyone's different. What you taste and what um, different wineries use. Okay, big sip. Yeah, I think that's all, all I'm tasting. There might be in some vanilla just to kind of cool it down a little bit, give it a little smoother texture. I think I'm definitely tasting plums, cherries. I'm tasting cocoa, whether or not it's in there, cocoa or chocolate. But that's what it feels like. It's um, really smooth going down. This is something you could drink by itself if you're having just a cheese and cracker tray, spicy chicken. I think it would still go well if you were having maybe a juicy burger out on the grill or even steak or Italian food. Um, yeah, it just, I think it's, it's a nice overall wine. It's, it doesn't taste strong. It's, um, it's still on the mild side compared to what I thought it was going to be. But, yeah, but so far, I am loving this. So, I am going to have a few more pieces of chicken and um, finish the two bottles of wine. I'm not, not the bottle, but the glasses that I poured. And we will see you tomorrow night, and we will open the last two bottles. So, looking forward to uh, sharing that with you. And, yeah, your comments, of course, are always welcome. Different wines that you think I should try or would enjoy now that I'm kind of experimenting and going into it with an open mind and just kind of letting the taste settle. And I'm trying to hold it in my mouth a little bit more. I don't want to spit it out in front of you guys. And if it's, I like it, I don't want to spit it out. If I don't like it, yeah, it's coming out. But, yeah, I'm just trying to hold it in my mouth a little bit more, kind of swish it around and just kind of get the sensation of what the flavors are and how it makes my mouth feel and how it feels going down. So, anyway, um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I hope you guys all go out. Have a great day. Okay, love you guys. Bye-bye.